Yes, people, how's it going? Welcome back to Lily White Lane. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're keeping safe and well. And we do have some Tottenham Hotspur breaking news. Steve Hitchin has resigned. Steve Hitchin has left Tottenham Hotspur. Speaking of getting rid of the dead wood, you talk about Deli Alley leaving. Talk about Steve Hitchin getting, getting, getting. I shouldn't really celebrate him resigning, but... It, it's one of those where I don't really have anything positive to say about Steve Hitchin. Since he's come in, he's been utter, utter useless, rubbish sporting director. And um, look, that's brutally honest because normally someone leaves your club, you know, even if they haven't been brilliant. You go, you know, fair play, fair play. You know, you've earned yourself a good position in Spurs history. You'll always be welcome back here. He won't be welcome back at the bloody club. You know, spoil another four years of transfers. No, thank you. No, thank you. Very good news that he's gone in all honesty. Nothing positive to say about Steve Hitch. And I believe he's been at Spurs for about... I don't know how long he's actually been at Spurs. You know, it's been so many years of pathetic transfers. But the last few years have truly shown, before Fabio Paratici's come in, no matter your opinion on him, how bad a sporting director or how bad a director of football Steve Hitchin is. How can you have a director of football that doesn't like the transfer window? Is he mental? You know, it, it's one of the biggest mistakes since Daniel Levy's come in, appointing this guy, you know, since since Enoch have come in. He hasn't been good enough. You know, if I'm going to give him credit for anything, it's for finding the likes of Jan Vertonghen for Toby Alderfield, you, you know, for going over there and getting business done. Those were his peak years under Pochettino, those first couple of years signing the likes of Sanchez, Alderfeer, Elton, whatever. But those were, you know, much more Maurizio Pochettino. All he had to do is not mess it up like he did with Milan, Scrignard, with Paolo Diabali. The amount of deals that would have went through because Enoch put in the money, because Pochettino put in the backing because the players wanted him. Enoch actually invested but were bottled and thrown away by this guy. He flew all the way to Italy, you know, to get a deal done for Milan Scrinia and somehow flew, somehow bottled it. He's He's been really poor. Now, you know, I thank him for bringing in the likes of Toby Adfield and some Spurs legends in the past, but this guy hasn't been brilliant. Deli Alley potentially as well, but all of those signs were much more Pochettino. So look, Farewell, Steve Hitchin. Don't come back, please, in all honesty. I'm sorry if that's brutally honest, but look, Steve Hitchin leaves Spurs. This is big news. It is big news, but I don't think it affects the club at a whole. You know, I think you've got to look at the last few months of Spurs, and he's basically been, excuse my language, Paratici's bitch. He's just been standing next to Paratici. You can clearly see the transfers aren't his sort of player. They're all, you know, based down on or based on Paratici's business and the players he wanted into the club, him and Conte. Those are the two, you know, people at the club, Fabio Paratici and Antonio Conte, who have been doing all the all the transfer business and all the transfer talk. You know, Steve Hitchens just basically been doing nothing since Paratici's coming because he hasn't had the ability to. You can clearly see the scouting and the players we are bringing in and the transfers are much better from Fabio Paratici. And look, Steve Hitchin was very poor in his tenure at Spurs. And basically, the last few months, he's been doing nothing at the club. He spent, what, five, six years here? It could be more than that. I'm not entirely sure. But, look, see you later, Steve Hitchin, as I said earlier. Don't come back. And, yet, yeah, look, it doesn't affect the club as a whole. I don't think, you know, it's not like... If we didn't have Fabio Paratici, it'd be much bigger news. It'd be like, bloody hell, we don't have a sporting director or a director of football. How are we going to scout and look for players? But we do. Steve Hitchin's really contributed nothing to the club. Unless we don't know about something, but... Not really contributed anything in the last few um in the last few weeks or months or years really. So look, farewell Steve Hitchin, all the best to Tottenham Hotspur's future. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if that's really brutally honest, but you know, I think most Spurs Spurs fans I miss <laughs> I think most Spurs fans were in agreement that um this guy never really helped the club. It was about time he left. And look, Deadwood, more Deadwood, more bad attitude people going at the club. This guy's known for saying he hates the January transfer window, making stupid little comments. And look, Deli Alley out when it comes to the player side, we're getting them out by the looks of it. We're getting the, you know, the staff out. I don't think Steve Hitchin, although it says resigns, I don't think, you know, he resigns on his own terms. I think it was much more Daniel Levy basically saying, mate, you're not doing good enough. Do you want to leave or whatever? Sort of forcing his hand. But look. 
Thank you for watching this video. Take care. All the best. And as always, come on you Spurs. In Conte, we trust.